Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. We begin with breaking news. Mass panic in New York City. KPI X5's Joe Vasquez is in the newsroom with what happened. Joe? Yeah, these images from Times Square, they're just chaotic. You had people who were frightened, they were scrambling, they were taking cover. They thought they were under attack. It looks like every horror movie ever set in New York. <laughs> Crowds of tourists running in a panic. What's going on here? Turns out it was a scare that some folks on social media are blaming on a loud bang. Some thought it was an explosion. One person apparently yelled shooter, which caused people to freak out. In the end, it turned out to be a motorcycle backfiring. Police say people heard the noise and took off running. Many took cover in buildings and stores, even Broadway theaters. Just days after a series of mass shootings, Americans are nervous. Yeah, there were some injuries uh, from people getting trampled, but nothing life-threatening. Now, Liz is checking on social media and on Twitter here. You know, you've got people who, they're relieved, but then they turn to anger. Others observing that, you know, there's a sort of nat national PTSD that we didn't even know about if we're acting right. like that after a tire backfiring. And then other people actually describing how their own children were having to walk them through what was essentially a live active shooter drill, the, te mm. the kids teaching the parents how to deal with this. That's just, it's all just heartbreaking, yeah. no question that everybody's just sort of on edge right now. Yeah. So any little noise like that can really trigger something in a lot of people, no question. All right, Joe, thank you.